Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Laura, and welcome to my channel. Today we're cooking. I'm making some chicken noodle soup. So if you're interested in finding out how I did that, then definitely stay tuned. Here's what you'll need. You'll need mirepoix, which is an onion, celery, and carrots. You'll need some garlic. You'll also need a fresh, young chicken. We don't want no old chickens over here. A young nice tenderoni chicken uh, along with some wide egg noodles okay so off camera I did rinse off my chicken I know it's like a controversy do you rinse off your chicken or do you not yes I wash my chicken off now I have a big pot I don't know how big of a pot this is, but it's a pretty big pot. I put my fresh young chicken in the pot and I'm just covering it with water. Okay, now that our chicken is covered in water, we have it on the stove and we're gonna turn it on to a medium high heat. On my stove, that is about an eight. Um, and I also, as you can tell, oh no, where's my clip with the seasonings? Okay, let me tell you what I put in the seasonings because I am not seeing that clip and that's unfortunate. Um, there is some salt, I put some pepper, I put some Tony Satchery's Creole season because you know that goes on everything, right? Um, I think that's it. Salt, pepper, Tony saturated seasoning. Oh, also some cayenne pepper because your girl has been liking a little bit of spice in her life. So a little bit of cayenne pepper just for just for fun, just for kicks. And then after that, I went ahead and threw in my mirepoix, which is the onion, celery, and carrots. Um, and trying to film this and cook at the same time without it being on the tripod little interesting you guys my pot is boiling over right now let's go see what's going on stand by all right guys so I guess one of the benefits of cooking and editing at the same time is that you get to hear what's going on so you just heard in my previous clip that my pot was boiling over because it is on still on medium high um, so I'm just going to stir it and then I'm going to turn the heat down just a tad bit, just a little bit. And then I'm going to go and edit, finish editing the video. Uh, uh. Y'all, I'm so excited about this um, chicken noodle soup. I love chicken, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup. I need to be more serious um, but at this point our chicken is a little more than halfway done um, I'm just very aware of how long it takes chicken to cook it usually takes this chicken in, a, in this size of a pot about an hour or so to cook the carrots are not um, super super soft yet so that's really good but one thing I usually do is just stir it around Make sure that everything is covered and that everything is cooking and cooking good. And then I go and leave it alone. Before I go any further in this video, um, I knew nothing about these my whole life. These are like the best thing ever, y'all. You know, I told you your girl has been liking a little bit of heat. I don't normally like spicy things and these aren't spicy but I don't normally like sweet pickles but I've been loving these sweet pickles so these things I just bought them at the store at um, Dylan's if you don't have a Dylan's you might have a Kroger y'all go get these I definitely recommend them go get these if you like the hot and the spicy Okay guys, so off camera, I did go ahead and debone my chicken. So this is just the broth. And what I did at this point is I went ahead and stirred it so I can get all of my seasonings mixed on up in there really, really good. And I was able to put some in a spoon and then I put it in my plastic spoon and I tasted it to see what I needed to add. 
and so off camera I definitely had to add a little bit more salt um, just to make it just right so then I went ahead and added the chicken like I said I did go ahead and debone that off camera um, to get it all stirred up and it's y'all if you could smell what I smell right now you would be hating mm. So at this point, I'll go ahead and add half of this package of egg noodles. Um, but make sure that this water is boiling, so the water has to be at a rolling boil before you add your pasta to it. So, like I said, I added half of a package of the egg noodle pasta to my broth with my veggies and my chicken. Mmm. Y'all, it smells so yummy in here my god so you once you get those added in you're just gonna stir 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 get it all mixed up really good and then it's gonna start back boiling you'll turn it down just a little bit and I like to cover mine with a lid so that everything stays in the pot and cooks up so good okay guys so at this point my noodles have been boiling for about five minutes so again, you're just gonna stir it again to make sure that everything is you know, looking good, nothing is sticking. And what I like to do at this point is cover up my soup, turn the stove off, and then take it off of that burner and just allow it to continue to cook on its own for maybe you know have a long five ten minutes have a long it is before you eat. and here's the finished product here's my chicken noodle soup i've also paired it with a glass of ice cold moscato wine um i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely continue to watch my channel for more videos also remember to subscribe rate and leave a comment down below love you guys and see you on the next video